It's Titanium Tuesday. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look what we just made. Van Dorn Metal Art Special, baby. This amazing woman who'd never done anything with metal art, newbie out of Austin, she comes in, she gets found pieces, she gets raw materials, she puts together this beautiful wall hanging because she is an amazing fan of butterflies. Look how well it turned out. Come here, come here, come here. Come in close. This thing is so badass. So many colors, so much going on, and it's all super professional looking. I am mind blown. Just one of the many examples of amazing pieces that we've made in here. We've done over 700. So I'm gonna take you from start to finish, show you exactly how we did this whole thing. Come with us, I'll see you on the other side. Nice. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting little standoffs on the back of our beautiful butterfly wall hanging so that it actually has a little bit of character, a little bit of shadow that's gonna dance across it. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to, we've got these beautiful butterfly shapes, right, that we have actually cut out with a plasma cutter. And this is kind of a fun little representation of a butterfly, so we've got hot rolled rod that I'm actually welding with MIG on the front of these wings that we've cut out of probably 24 gauge steel so we had some flexibility, some bend, we could roll it, we could kind of make them look more natural and organic. Now the cool thing about the plasma cutter is it's actually giving the edges of the wings a naturally organic look also because the oxidation, the bluing of the uh, wings from the heat is just a natural effect that makes them look more real, which is cool. Put on a little wire on top for antenna, we're done. You'd be surprised how many people we've started, like they're like, oh, that's it, I'm gonna get a shop. I'm in. Elise's, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna secure it in the front, and then you are gonna come behind me and give me that back strength weld. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. To receive new video updates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon, thank you. Okay, when I say go, you go and you say stop, stop, go. Stop, yeah, perfect. Perfect. See how we did that? We connected this whole thing to this, all this wing to all this little apparatus. So very nice. Tail. Isn't that great? He's got a little tail. Good. Oh yeah. I love it when it's red hot. Now, do not put your tongue on that. That's rule number one. No putting your tongue on that. It would be even worse than putting it on something frozen. <laughs> All right. Good. Perfect. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Couldn't be better. And then what we're gonna do in the back is give ourselves a little bit of a strength weld. So I'm gonna have you come right there and just give me one little tack weld, give you some practice on kind of pinpoint welding. Remember there's some times when we literally only have that much room to weld. Okay, so we can't do that whole big bead because we just have to go right in there and make a contact point. Just right there, okay. that's it. So we're gonna go right in, touch the welder to the back where the stem meets the wing and we are gonna have a connection point. Ready, set, go. Done. Perfect. Fantastic. Those want to be silver and groovy. Yeah. So they were so we're gonna take these outside. Or did you guys paint them over here and then okay, you painted them over here? We're painting. It's gonna be amazing. No no no. So you're good, you're good exactly the shape they are, is the shapes we want them to be. Alright, Senor Papa Lane. We got we're bringing in the old, the old scurvy sea dog for the, uh, for the painting application. So basically what we're doing here is this amazing coloration that we use. We've got all of these different colored spray paints that are really good with metal. And what we're doing is what's called a float. So instead of putting a really, really thick coat on the piece, we actually pull back, we either, we either put mineral spirits or thinner on it, and then we actually 
probably about 10 or 12 inches away, spray so that the color kind of just washes over the piece. And what happens when we put mineral spirits or thinner on it first is the color actually floats across and doesn't exactly stick to the metal. So it creates this amazing effect. Now it's different every time. It's a fun experiment. We never know how it's going to turn out. But these three pieces are, are basically what we call floats. And it's an example of what can happen when you use color and a product to actually thin the paint and let the paint kind of wash over the material. This is an amazing process that I was explaining outside called the float. And what we do is we paint paint thinner over metal. Now this metal is either brand new, sometimes it's rusted, has all sorts of characteristics and texture on it. And then what we do is instead of actually just spraying a solid coat, like for instance, watch what happens if I just spray this. Okay, it's just straight blue. But if I back up and let the color float over the top of either another color that's already been placed on as a primer and under that the thinner, the color kind of hits and kind of fades and washes out and does these beautiful little effects and creates all sorts of little intricacies and wonderfulnesses and it's pretty awesome.